Hey, second graders, today is the last day of the week, so we're going to take our end of selection test. Go ahead and make sure that you have your name at the top, at the top. Put your name at the top, at the top. Put your name at the top, so if we lose it, we can. Put your name at the top, at the top. All right. Let's start with the vocabulary. These are the directions. Read each sentence. Fill in the circle next to the word that fills the blank. Number one. And remember, second graders, if you ever have a question, pause, raise your hand, and I'd be happy to help you. Also, follow along with the star. It'll let you know where you are. The lake is filled with cold blank. The lake is filled with cold air. The lake is filled with cold clouds. The lake is filled with cold water. Which fits best in this blank? Number two. My blank are light blue. My arms are light blue. My eyes are light blue. Or my feet are light blue. Which works best in that blank? Number three. We have to get up blank to go fishing. We have to get up early to go fishing. We have to get up yesterday to go fishing. We have to get up hopefully to go fishing. Now remember, two might sound correct, but only one is the correct answer. So whichever one is the best choice. Number four, Minnie Blank live on her farm. Minnie Rivers live on her farm. Many animals live on her farm. Many schools live on her farm. And number five. The freezer is blank of food. The freezer is tired of food. The freezer is warm of food. The freezer is full of food. If at any time you need to go back, go ahead and rewind and listen to it. All right, go to the next page. Okay, second graders, you should be on phonics. Remember to follow that star as it reads. Let me get my star out. Here it comes. Here are the directions. Choose the correct ending for the underlined word. Fill in the circle next to the answer. answer. So the ending go, should make sense with the sentence. Let's start at number six. He likes talk to other people. Well, that doesn't sound right. Which would sound better? He likes talks to other people? He likes talking to other people? Or he likes talked to other people? Which one of these three words fits better in that underlined spot? Number seven, they drop the heavy box. Well, that sounds okay, but how could we change it so it sounds okay? Also, by changing the ending, he or they dropped the heavy box, they dropping the heavy box, they droped the heavy box. Number eight, Jeffrey always play at my house. Well, that doesn't sound right. What would make it sound better? Jeffrey always playing at my house, Jeffrey always plays at my house, Jeffrey always plays at my house. Number nine, Juliana enjoy going camping last summer. What could you replace with that word enjoy? Juliana enjoyed going camping last summer. Julia, oh sorry guys. Juliana enjoys going camping last summer. And Juliana enjoying going camping last summer. Number 10. She wiped her hands on the towel. She wiped her hands on the towel. She wiped her hands on the towel. She whipped her hands on the towel. Which one of those three works for changing wipe into a different word that makes sense? All right. Remember, if you need to pause, go ahead. All right. Go on to the story. Follow along as I Art is all over. Now, you're just uh, following as I read. If you want to get your following finger out, that would be awesome. It's kind of like if I had this would be my following finger. Okay, this is called Art is All Over. I'm going to use my following finger for just a part of it, but then I'm going to stop. It can be big or small. 
It can be over your head or under your feet. It's art. And it's all over. Go for a walk in the park. Do you see something that makes you ask, what's that? It might be a tree or a flower, or it might be art. In some cities, you might not know what you are seeing. A fun idea in New York made a street corner into a baseball field. Home plate was on one corner. People who walked across the street walked through the field without knowing it. It was supposed to make people ask, was that there yesterday? Another great art idea happened at an airport. Big red ants looked like they were coming out of a hole above people's heads. Some people thought they might scare children. But the airport asked children and their parents about them. Both thought that the big ants were cool. Many cities have places where all people can see art. Some cities have big pictures. They show people's lives. They are painted on sides of schools. Other places have them too. People have painted these pictures for a long time. You can also see art in other countries. In Spain, some park benches are made with little pieces of glass or wood. They help form pictures. The art is pretty and you can sit on it too. Australia has a work of art that looks like a tower. When the wind blows a certain way, it sounds like it's humming, but you have to listen carefully. The sound isn't heard very much. So don't forget to look around for art. It might be outside, it might be a picture or drawing in a book, or even one that you made yourself. No matter where you see art, it's for all people to enjoy. Okay, second graders, now you're going to do something for me on this page, so don't turn the page because I'm going to help you. On the next page, there are going to be some questions that ask about paragraphs. Paragraphs are when the author changes the subject to a different idea, and so they indent, and it kind of looks like this. The words go in a little bit like that, do you see, and then down here, they're they come back out. So anytime it goes in like that, the words go in, that's a new paragraph. It's a new idea the author wanted to talk about. Okay, so here's what I want you to do on your paper. I'm going to erase those marks I made. You did not need to make those marks, so if you did, go ahead and take time to erase them right now. We're going to count the paragraphs. So anytime it indents like that or goes in, the words go in, we're going to write a one, two, three, four, and so on. So go ahead and do this on your paper. So the first paragraph, I see it indents right here. I'm going to write a 1. This is the first paragraph. And then it indents again right here. That's a 2. That's the second paragraph. So you're doing the same thing on your paper as I'm doing right here. It's going to help you answer the questions on the next page. Okay, and then it indents again right here. Okay, so I'm going to write a 3, and it goes all the way until here where I see it indents again. That's another paragraph. Okay, and that's 4 where it indents there, so go ahead and write a 4 and circle it until it indents right here. That's 5. Circle that until it indents right here like that, and then it indents to here, so we'll circle that. And that's six. Seven goes here. And then it indents here, and that's your last paragraph. That's eight. So there are eight different paragraphs, and you use this in writing to change your ideas, even though it's all about art. Okay? If you needed help numbering that, you got lost, you can rewind, pause and rewind, or raise your hand and someone will come to help. I know it's a bit confusing. All right. Once you have those paragraphs listed, you're going to have to come back and find them. Okay, so go ahead and go to the next page. We'll read those questions. You'll come back to this part to answer them. Okay, second graders, like I said, you're going to have to probably turn the page over to find the answers. Okay, so if you need to do that, pause, go find the answer, and then fill it in on your paper. All right, here we go. Directions. Read each question, fill in the circle next to the best answer. Okay, here we go. All right, number 11. What does the author mostly want you to know about art? Remember, you can go back and look for these answers. Actually, you should be and underlining where you find them. If you want to get a highlighter and do that, 
that's totally fine with me. So it says, what does the author mostly want you to know about art? That it's not important, that it can be hard to see, that it can be seen everywhere. If you need to go back and look, which you should, go find it in the story and highlight it. Number 12, one art idea turned a street corner into a, is it a baseball field? Airport park bench. Go back and find the answer and highlight it. Number 13, one of the questions that art can make you ask is, do I like art? Was that there yesterday? How do I make art? Remember, the answer is in the story. Go back and look. Number 14. Ooh, this is one of those paragraph questions. Find paragraph six that we marked. Okay, it says paragraph six tells mainly about park benches in Spain, towers in Australia, street corners in New York. Go back and only read paragraph six that we circled to find the answer. And finally, number 15. The author uses the last paragraph, so that's number eight. If you remember that, what is that last paragraph, the last little part that we circled? The author uses the last paragraph mostly to help the reader want to read more stories about art, remember that everyone can enjoy art, or create works of art. All right, I hope that you went back and looked and highlighted. Remember, at any time you need help, raise your hand, go back and look, or pause and rewind. All right, we're on to the writing part. Remember, I'll help you start off your sentence, but you need to finish the sentence. Go to the back page. Okay, this is just the question. So you're just following along and reading as I read it, okay? This is what we're gonna write about. It says, look back and write. Look back at page 133. Yep, go get your reading street book. Turn to page 133. Pause right now, take your headphones off, go get that reading straight book. That's where you'll find your answer. Okay, here's the question. How does a jackrabbit protect itself? Provide evidence to support your answer. So that means find things in the book that tell you how you know a jackrabbit protects itself. Here's what we're gonna do. Use the list in the box below to help you as you write. Go back and check these off as you do it. Tell how a jackrabbit protects itself. Once you've done that, check this off. Okay. Think of specific words that tell your reader exactly what a jackrabbit does. So that means use good words that tells me you know what a jackrabbit does to protect itself. Use details from the text. The text, remember, that's just the story, a walk in the desert, to support your answer and try your best it's not it's okay if it's not the correct spelling but if it's close but try to use correct spelling capitalization punctuation that's period exclamation point question mark grammar and sentences all right let's go ahead and get that sentence writing so go to the back page now and i'll help you start your sentence you need to finish the sentence where i write the blanks though all right. Okay, second graders, if you remember, the question asked us, how does a jackrabbit protect itself? And if you need to remember what page you go to to find that answer, it's page 133. Raise your hand if you need help finding that page. Okay, so here's how I'm going to start off your sentence. You need to finish this sentence. I'm just doing the beginning part. You fill in the blanks. A jackrabbit make my dots there a little darker. Alright, a jackrabbit and then I'm gonna go to the next line. I don't have enough room right there to write protects. Protects, P-R-O-T-E-C-T-S. 
protects itself. I T S E L F. So a jackrabbit protects itself by. Okay, that's where you fill in the blank. So you're going to fill in the blank by telling me how a jackrabbit protects itself. So where I'm writing these lines, you do not need to write these lines. Okay, that's just telling me you fill in the blank. Okay, again, you don't need to write those lines. You're writing your own answer where I wrote those lines. So fill in the blank. A jackrabbit protects itself by... Remember, look on page 133, the answer's there. All right, when you're done, turn this into the turn-in basket, and then you can go ahead and draw a picture on Seesaw and write a story about that picture using the typing fu function, or you can do epic books, or you can get on front row or if you really just want to read to self that's fine with me